new background. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so it's my sister. She said I should sit down properly. Yes. <laughs> So mm -hmm. now this second half, I want to focus on you. Okay. You as a person. We're going to talk okay. about, um, let me start with asking, do you have any regrets in life? I mean, we'll talk about marriage and everything, but you're, as a yeah. person, your personal capacity, is there anything okay. you've done in life, a mistake, a miscarriage, uh, you stole, something that you did that you regret today? Um, what I regret is not taking the advice of my, mm. of the um, counselor, Right, because that's um that's um marriage took away almost seven years of my life, mm. you know, and I think this is what um they meant when they talked of um actions and repercussions. Sometimes you feel when things happen last last you get over it, but mm. um like I said, yeah. I didn't I didn't pick up myself in time. I so, left the country. And by the time I came back, it's really affected my career. I would not lie to you. A lot of people developed deep-seated hatred for me. I don't know. People that I don't even know, they send me messages, call me from China, from Egypt, tell me I'm stupid. How can I be married? And the marriage went so quick. And uh, Some people said I'm, a, I'm, um, I'm too fat. Maybe that's why the guy left, that I'm ugly. You know, a lot of people said I'm a pig. You know, those, a lot of things. But I just felt like, um, if not for my job, a lot of people would know me because naturally, I really don't like people to see me everywhere or whatever. But I mean, my job detects that and all that. So okay. I really regret not listening, not taking that advice. Let me I ask you a question. That. Princess, are you happy, like truthfully, sincerely, from the bottom of your heart today, are you happy? Very, very, I am. I am. Sure? Yes, I'm sure. Mm. What you know me, I do. Yeah. When I can give. Mm. In November, last year, I, was, I wasn't really happy because, you know, I told you I was sick. Yes, when I got yeah. out of the hospital, I didn't really, you know. But this year, when this thing started in March, I, I told my sister I wasn't happy. She said, why? I'm not happy because I might not be a rich person or whatever, but... I found since when I was young, since when I was in secondary school, that I'm always happy when I can help people. I don't know. Even if they don't appreciate it, I don't care. It's always made me happy. But because I couldn't help, I was crying. My sister was like, you're crying because you can't, you don't have, how much do you have? I had less than 40K that day, like I told you. But of course, I was expecting money. I was already planning to use the money, you get. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of food stuff at home that I bought for my restaurant. So since we couldn't do anything, but being able to help now mm, mm. makes me so happy because now I see myself like everything I used to plan when I was young, mm. everything I wanted, mm. God has done almost everything for me. Fantastic. The only thing I don't have is I, maybe I don't have a biological child and it's not mm. for lack of trying. I had a very bad experience. I had a topic, mm. I wasn't detected in time. I nearly dropped dead. Mm. But I thank God that I'm here. And I know for a fact that even, even if at the end of this year, if I, if I decide to adopt a baby, do you get? I'll be, I'll be happy to, to take care of that baby. You know why? Because mm. we always think we're unlucky because of some things. What mm. of those children who lost their parents at birth? Did they offend God? So all of them will remain in motherless babies' homes. Mm. What do you, so what came to my mind last year is, if people like me, maybe people who have challenges having children, or people who can't have, mm. do you understand? Because I will tell you the truth. Some people want to have, but they know probably for some reason or the other, maybe it's not possible. Mm. But mm. still want to beat themselves up. I mean, I'm not that kind of person. Right. I know I can have. I've mm. tried. I, 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 it didn't, it didn't, the, the child died and all that. Yeah. But, I, but, I, but it would give me so much joy if, I, if somebody, because I can't, the number of people. But would you try again? Would you try again? To, have children? To, I would if, I'm, if, I, if I get married right. to someone else. Because, you know, 
if I if I if I if if I see somebody who has who thinks the way I think, because people should not think that children like they are a necessity. They are no handbag that you must show off. Kilo mm. day, and then you have them. You cannot cater to their needs. You if you if you have a child, if you know you really want a child, do you do you have the heart of princess? Can you leave your work? Can you dedicate your time? Can you do assignment? Can you follow the child to Princess, don't there's I... a guy, precious of Ghana, Mary. He wants to marry you like crazy. Now he doesn't disturb our, our timeline. Do you know him? Like, I don't even know the I think I've actually said um, I don't even I don't know him personally, but I think I've um, clicked his name before. So I think I know the face. I don't think he lives in Nigeria though. He, he might be married marry though. You. Send me our princess. He wants twins to the two of you. Maybe after the hour. He might be married though. I'll link up and collect his <laughs> number. Maybe tell him I'm married. I don't think he's married. married though. He's Mr. All... Precious. He might be married. married. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. People can lie. People can <laughs> lie. But listen, listen, princess, you, 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 you seem to be very, very cynical about things of marriage and you're untrusting of things of love. You, just, you always feel as if you, you're, not, you, you're not ready to release yourself to this thing called love. Morayo, I didn't say... No, no, no. I said, I believe in the institution of marriage. Please don't yes. misquote me. And marriage is still the best institution. Yes. But I'm saying for me, for oh, me, you, yes. mm. the person who wants to marry me must understand that we need to understand ourselves. Even if I say I'm in love with the person and the person says that they are in love with me, I must be able to accept the person's flaws. I talked to you about my ex and how mm. I could have handled some things, you know. Deep. And I also told you about some things I just found out about myself. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. my family have been telling me, like my mom, my sister, will be like, ah, ah, why are you like this? I'll be like, no, when you switch off the TV, set the remote this way, and they will be like, kill a day. But when I met somebody that cannot even speak, tell me in English, that will use courses to so you understand, I think the thing resets my brain. But <laughs> I'm saying that. The person, must, the person must be somebody, you know, I, I, love is not enough. Why does yeah. the person want, want to marry me? Is the person marrying me because they feel, oh, princess, she can cook? Or because you feel, oh, she looks like somebody that can have twins. What if I don't have children for you? What if you feel, oh, princess, oh, she's the kind of woman I would like. You see me on What if you see me in real life and think she's too fat or she's too short? Let's talk, about this. Let's talk about that for a second, that body shaming thing, because people like you yeah. and I, we are, we are plus size, um, people see us and judge, oh, she's fat, oh, she's ugly. She like, I've also been called pig in the past, I've always been ugly, you, know, you get all those, those words. Now, the truth is that sometimes people say we mask how those things affect yeah. us, we, we pretend that it doesn't affect us, but really somewhere there, it hurts. How do you, when, when we will body shame you, I say you're too fat, how does that really make you feel? It doesn't make me feel any how, because I was very thin. And that's the truth. I've always said I don't want, yeah, I was very thin. And um, I didn't like the names people were calling me, Tim Beleno, yeah, this one, this one. And people will say, you say you're from a rich home. You know, when we're growing up, if you're from a rich home, you have to be chubby. It's not <laughs> now that you know. So, but after the, you know, I told you, after the challenge and the hospital and everything, I saw that my, my, my tummy has never been very flat, but it's kept on protruding. And when I complained in the hospital, you know, they, they will tell you this is what to do. When I didn't listen to the doctors, when I said, oh, I'll be working out every day, I'll go to a stadium, I work. When I collapse, it's <laughs> not, it's my family. The doctors told me, but I'm, not the way they talk to you in general hospital. They said, you said you're educated. I said, yes, sir. Are you sure you're educated? I said, yes, sir. Why did you stress your i said ah, sir, i'm working on flat tummy the man said why i said because my fans are saying that my tummy is too big and you know at least so that i'll get into a relation this he said is it more important for you to be alive with flat uh, with big tummy or to be dead do you understand so i said okay i'll take it easy so now i still work out but i don't do the extreme i know i'm i'm losing weight at my own pace it's not a competition but I don't want to get married to somebody who will say, ah, if I had known, I would have married a model. My brother, please marry a model so everybody can rest. Do you get? And people, do you know the funny thing? There are some guys that love, uh, love big plus size women. I don't know why I never meet them. 
I don't know. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. I, I have I, I, somebody. I, I, I met somebody that told me I wasn't fat enough. I traveled for an event. I was in the UK for an event for a wedding, and a woman came to me and said, "Please come, come and take a picture of my husband." So I took the picture. You know, I just normal art sister. She said, "No." She said, "Honey, her girl, because when you are watching this woman, you are always shaking." She told me that the husband was ah. I said, "On top me." She. Some people. Why don't I meet them? Because that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> why is it that I keep meeting people that want, you know, if you want somebody that is slim, sexy, nice, that's what you want. And I, I'm, I love it when you know what you want and you go for it. But don't yeah. go, don't say you want to manage. Precious says you are his speckle. Precious says you are my speckle. What is that my speck? It's precious. It's precious. Don't get me a mirror. Maybe you should I'm... DM me, yo. Mr. Ah, Precious, after, DM me so we can concentrate well, on this. After my conversation, I will now interview him. Don't worry. After we finish our talk, please interview I will him. Now bring him. I will now interview him. Now say what he wants to do to pay for princess. We'll talk to you. Don't please worry. interview. On your behalf, him. I will interview him for you. Ah, please, <laughs> note. please note. Not all relationships lead to marriage. Marriage, yes. Not all relationships. This this also affected me. We we you know when we're growing, we already put it there. The first man you meet, the best. not all do you get. That's why. Do you, do you, do you, I wanted to ask you this question. Do you have friends with benefits? I don't. I wish I had. I don't. You know, you can only have friends with benefits when you have a banging body, you know, a latest car. You understand? If people, uh, even the guys outside, they are looking for rich ladies. If they know that you don't have money, any small money you see, you want to go and cook rice and share it in bus stop. You think it's you. They want, to, they want to be able to call you like, they want to say, hello, baby. Baby, what's up now? Let's meet at the, a club in Ikeja. And then when they say, baby, can I get a loan of 200K? You just transfer. Not that me, I'll be looking at the 200K and say, ah, I don't want to buy a bag of beans, so we need beans in the wire. No, guys. You know. So for me, like I always tell people, because we, we are sure, me, I'm sure, that not all relationships leads to marriage. If you can be in a relationship with somebody that does not involve you, being sexually involved with them. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead because it also helps. You know why? When you are sexually involved with someone also, it beclouds your reasoning. Mm -hmm. It also hampers your judgment sometimes. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So for me now, somebody that is romantic, I know I can go on dates, go travel, see the world and everything. While I we are traveling or doing anything, whether we are playing Ludo by the beach or we are playing Scrabble in your house, I shall know that your attitude, your person, free yourself, let it show. You're talking of trust. I can't trust. Who do you want me to trust? The person that I trusted, I got married to mess me up. You don't need, I, if you want me to trust you, be free. Say the truth. There's some, tell the truth. Some people will not see you in two weeks. And when you say, so what happened in the two weeks? They'll say nothing much. That's a lie. Hmm. Say the truth. Say it. Nothing will happen. I'm like that. Funny enough. You know, that day I came, I told you, I'm not one of those people that if you tell, oh, I made a mistake with someone. I'm not encouraging it. But I'm saying I'm not all those people that will kill themselves or make you feel or judge you or whatever. I would appreciate it if you respect our relationship and don't start painting yourself as a loose person or community man. But if something happens, an indiscretion happens, you need to get in front of it. Mm. Do not let people dictate what happens in your relationship. They will mm. come and tell me, oh, princess, oh, did you hear what your boyfriend did? No, you tell me. When they come right. and tell me, let me say, oh, with Mariah, okay, I heard the kiss that. Thank you. Lobato. <laughs> you get I, we will deal with we will deal with it. You get. And so if you hear something, because you know, because I'm I'm a comedian. People will come and tell you things. They will come and show you pictures or videos. Oh, look at Princess kissing Two Face. You should know that Two Face, his taste is high. Yeah. Look at his wife. She's beautiful. She, they've been together for years. Do you get? So if you see that video, you should tell them, Oh, I know this is a movie. Do you understand? Mm, Don't right. gotcha. your body. Because they did that to my ex. They would send him messages on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. So, can you, how can you get married to somebody that is big? I got you. They were, you know, and he was listening to them. Don't let people 
oppress you with their comments. Face mm -hmm. where they go. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. But, but for trust to happen, for yeah. trust to happen, yeah. you have to earn it. Right. Do you Princess, understand? Have you, ever, have you ever experimented with the other side? No. Okay. Because I'm thinking, if I go down the other side, you don't come back. You don't come back. <laughs> my sister. <laughs> See what? <laughs> because Jesus. first, let me give you the list of the people on my list already. Ron Kell Dusoya. That they call Flaky Didoho. She's my number one mark. Are you? <laughs> say, me, she you ask me question, no? Yes, no, go ahead. I'm listening. Yinka Edu. You better go and be looking for the handles. Yinka Edu, she's online Yinka Edu on Instagram. Yes, she's yes. my number two. Mark. Wow. Lovina Ketri and Reta. <laughs> number three, Mark. <laughs> then, you can't have side chick. I will have two as savage. <laughs> so you've actually Pilar. given some thought. You've actually thought about it. You are the, she was just talking. Now what for I you? No, because, I, I mean, I no, was giving you this. I don't know, go ahead. Why I gave Thought is, I said, if I come back as a man, I don't know in my next life. You understand? Because <laughs> I've not, I've, I've, I've died before and come back, yeah. but I've not gone to heaven before. So maybe <laughs> God give me an opportunity, that princess, as you came, sharp, sharp, go back. I've already told you these women, no, I don't want anybody dragging them with me because I've already <laughs> put their knees down. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, my... Okay, we have to wrap this up because I want to speak to Precious. Precious has been disturbing us, so we have to speak to Precious. Why are you wrapping that. it up now? Ah, are you... We don't do one and a half, almost one and a half hours. You never, you never How many any... hours is the interview? <laughs> any, any, there's no timing, any, anything. And we'll keep talking until we're tired. No, so this Precious, is he your friend? Why are you cutting it because of him? You know what? You know what I can do? I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to put Precious on and then okay. we'll bring you back. I will talk to Precious. Okay. I will bring you back. Let's do that. So you I'll... still be live with Precious. We can see him. Live. You will be able to see please, him. Please, Precious, are you see. there? Precious, please. He oh, should wait. Send request. Precious, send he your request. Send... I'm going to cut off now. Add Precious. Talk to him and then bring back Princess. Let no, 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 no. Let's yes. talk to him. Let all the Nigerian. Yes. Why don't you let him apply for video? Yeah. Okay, so that okay, me, okay. Me I will be watching. Precious, are you there? Please, oh, come and apply. Where is Precious? Let me go. Let he me should go. apply. I'll remove you now and I'll put pressures. So, press what is the sound? <laughs> <laughs> the... <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, man. The... The... Yeah, so, me that I was thinking, I was actually hoping that there was something here. You that you were talking of trust. Uh, mm. Me that I know that people who send messages, uh, I do not know, even know people get married through Instagram. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. DM and... You know, like um, what is, um, sliding into people's DM. Yes. So, so when somebody sent me a message, I say, ah, well, where are you from? I say, ah, are you all right? <laughs> is, this, is, this, is this normal? You know, I say, ah, so, that's how people meet now through social media. And then, you know, when you start chatting, you now get to me. Because I was just like, are you serious? He said, I should be that's how Banky met say, at this war, blah, blah, blah. I said, ah. So really? I said, okay, for those yes. who have those who have sent me DM before that I blocked you, resent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My Princess, sister, I since you're a very romantic person. Let us go back to your romance. What's that, mm -hmm. what's that most romantic thing you've done or has been done to you that is so memorable that you like to share with us? Ooh, funny enough, the most romantic thing that has been done to me was done, was done by a friend, not even somebody I was dating. Aww. I love surprises. Mm. I don't care how, how sick. some people say surprise must be, I don't care how small you think it is, I just love surprises. Aww. I don't care even what you buy me, it's just a pack of biscuits, you now wrap it, you now put it somewhere, you write something, I look for it, I don't care. Aww. You get a puzzle or something, I'm telling you the gospel truth. I, don't, I really don't mind. So what the most romantic thing, let me say that has made me happy of you, is a friend that even did it. So it's a, 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 I can't count that. But if it was somebody that I was dating that did that, or more, <laughs> There's nothing you will tell me. What the best? What the best? Just planned a surprise party for you. 
Um, if I say it now, the person might be online. I don't want them to get the wrong impression. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay we get but like I said, any, 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 so any kind of pleasant surprise for me is good. And when we, when we even say romance, I don't know how, how me I understand is, is if you're sad as my boyfriend or something, if you're down, if you're sad, and I'm around you, and you can share your problems with me. Mm -hmm. We can talk about it and look for a way out. For me, that's another kind of. I don't like it when people say, "Oh, I'm going through a lot. I just want to be by myself." I don't. Why? What? Why? Do, I don't understand. You don't want to be by yourself. Lost see Himalaya, so could see Atlantic and be there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. People, you don't share. You, we can't just be sharing only good moments. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You must be able to share the most painful aspects of your life with me. But the moment you get to know me, I know I'm not like, even I don't like to say, I told you so. Do you understand? Even if I tell you one million times and you make a mistake, I just feel like, well, do you get so? That's just me. But romance for me can even be us playing Ludo at the beach, playing Scrabble, running around. The problem around. is that you watch too many movies. That's your problem. You watch no, too many but that's movies. me. I was with a real life. You mean movie last like Sony. You are not real life. Real life. People, okay, but the people that I play all these things with are just my friends. She means they are human beings. It's because they're not married. When they start having responsibilities, they say that Ludo on the beach, they start thinking about Ludo on the beach. Never. You can play Ludo in the car, in traffic. If you love someone, it's not hard. Yeah. Mario, how horrible. difficult is that's it for you to horrible. open up? Love what are you talking about? Hello, hello, hello. That's okay, what is love? Up. Love is when you you buy me a love pen, Kiabi. Sacrifice, kindness. Is that what I'm saying? Affection, attention. Yeah, so Before people need people... to know, attention, affection, appreciation, mm. addition. Mm. Okay. For me, attention. You know, so I appreciate you just did it all back. Nice. It looks, let me know you notice. Affection, mm. at least, shows my affection. Do you understand? Mm. Appreciation. When people do little things for me, I appreciate them. But some people mm. believe if their boyfriend builds a house, then they will, do you understand? No, if you, if, if you buy me, I don't know, Kuli Kuli, I don't even know what you want to buy me. I will mm. appreciate. And I also like you to appreciate me as a human being. If I make a, a tantalizing meal and you eat it and you love oh, say, princess, you are the best cook in the whole world, my head will explode. Wow. You understand? Then addition. Then addition. When I, I say I'm a comedian, I, 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 I sell food, I'm a chef, I'm this, I'm that. I, I like humanitarian work. As my friend, as my partner, what's your addition to what I'm doing? It might mm. not even be money. It might be simple advice. Somebody mm -hmm. advised me weeks ago that, Princess, you are stressing yourself too much. What are you sharing this weekend? I said, Mr. Ayinka Adebayo gave us cartons of Indomie. So we're supposed to cook and put veggies. She said, why don't you share it raw? Since the Indomie is that big one, the Hungry Man Park. I mm -hmm. said, oh, that's good advice. And that's what we did to reduce this. That's what I'm saying. You can advise me. Mm -hmm. You are adding value to my life. As a person, you are adding value to my business. You are adding value to my humanitarian work. I will really appreciate that. I don't want you to say you love me, and only be involved in things you choose to be involved with in my life. If you love me, if I'm on my period, I want to tell you that. Ah, oh, I, I want you to say sorry. Is that all I want? Do you understand? Right. I don't. Don't tell me you don't want to know some. I'm. I'm like that. I'm an open. I want you to know everything about me. Because you are my partner. You are my friend. Yoba will say any KG. I want to see you and look at you like this. And I want you to see, look into my small eyeballs and understand any pain or any joy I'm feeling at a particular point in time. That is romance for me. Mm, you can't be. And if you want to give me a gift, mm. you don't need to buy me a 2020, what are they buying a Benz or something. If you buy me Tokumbo and um, golf that is 500,000 and you put a ribbon, you wash it, it's clean, you put perfume, you now say, close your eyes, open it, I will be so happy. Mm. You get, so we are different. This is what I've always wanted. 
this is me. I can adjust some parts. If my partner says it's not okay, but I can adjust. But I wouldn't like to leave the core of myself mm. to one side just because I want to be with someone. Do you understand? I yeah. made that mistake also with, the, with, the, with my marriage. You don't, you don't do that. I'm not asking the person to stop being himself. I'm just saying you, you are yourself, Morayo. And I'm myself, princess. But when we become partners, let's find our new selves. In, in, in engineering, it's like this. So this circle, this is where they inter intersect. This is the point of intersection. Mm. So this point is A, this point is B. This point of intersection is what I'm asking for. Let it overlap. Let our feelings overlap. Let me know when you are hungry. Let me know when you need me to sing to you with this, my ugly voice. Do you understand? That's, that's just it. Because the only thing that you can give me now, that anybody can give me that I don't have, is maybe billions of dollars. But please, if you give me, I'm going to still spend it on the streets so on people. But really, if I die tomorrow, I'm not going to take that money with me. Hmm. Somebody is asking that, would you change your religion for love? I think that's a good question. I'm a Christian, so what do I want to change? So if he's a, a Muslim and says, ah, he has to become an Elijah, that's the condition. No, if, if he's already telling me I have to become an Elijah, he's not my partner. Okay. Because I'm not telling him he has to become a pastor. Mm. So that's why I said, first off, irrespective of who you are, I want to know you, your person. Whether you are Ahmadiyya, Tawakalitu, Nasfat, it really doesn't matter because you might be a terrible person. Mm. If I get to know your person and I find out that you are, you are a born again, you gave your life to Christ in 1964, it's really none of my business. <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with you. You know me now. If you are an imam or a pastor, I need you to be a good person. You can't be evil and be saying you're praying to God after our God is listening. That's between you and your God. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. I know that I'm not a perfect person. And I always tell people I'm not even a good person. If you meet me, you might not like me. You might say I have mouth or whatever. But I know in my own capacity, I'm trying to be a good person. That's what I want for my partner. I don't want you to hide behind any religion and tell me you're a Christian. No, 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 please. Don't tell me you're a Christian. You are stingy. You can't help people that don't have. You can only help people when, when people can see it. You can only, uh, you, you can't advise somebody that is going astray. You want them to make a mistake. So you can tell them, I don't want you around me. I don't like proud people as well. <laughs> we have to wrap yes. up, but I, I think I have to say this. Because I know somebody who, my, my, I have an auntie that used to marry, that marry somebody, we call them chicken and sheep. They play, some of them, they don't, they're not educated. They just, they're, they, they are, but they're good people. They, they love family. They, they give their all to yeah. family. They didn't have the exposure. They didn't have the education. Yeah. They cared, they cared so much about family. So just so that we are clear, you're not, you're not against anybody who loves you, regardless of their educational status. Because I know you said earlier that no. your, your ex wasn't so educated, but you're just somebody who loves you for who you are, not so much on the educational part, right? No, the person has to be educated. You know, I've been in one not educated. You know why? I'm not saying Harvard, though, and I'm not saying Cambridge or PhD. I'm saying, you know, I said education, not only school-wise, exposure. Exposure. Got because you. when you're having a conversation with somebody that is exposed, even an argument, the, the level of, the result of that conversation depends on your intelligence and exposure. exposure. So somebody might be book where, you know, safety. And when you're arguing, when they talk, you'll be like, uh uh, which rock did you crawl from? Do you understand? <laughs> or, you know, but somebody might not even, you know, maybe a third class, or I don't know, maybe a dropout or somebody. But you know that this person mm -mm, is exposed. And let me tell you, a lot of people who claim that they are exposed are not exposed to people's experiences. So exposure involves learning from people's experiences, traveling, reading, and learning from your own experiences so that you don't just be talking out of points. <laughs> because right. if me, I'm dating you, and I don't correct you, and we are sitting down with comedians, and he does say, ah, Asana, there are stupid people. Everybody will keep quiet. 
They are not nice people. They will look at you. When you make the princess, can I see you? Use your son. Use your son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to go. Thank you, Priya. I think we have to wrap up here. We can wrap up here, but thank you. You didn't give me drink, oh. You didn't give me drink in this your ah. interview. When I came to <laughs> tea, you gave me that tea. You didn't give me any tea. This is why you're in your house. Like. You should be the one giving me. Now, you know you like food. So you have to come and cook for me, oh. I'm going to I will order come food. now. I'm going to order food from your from your it's a restaurant, right? Order now. It's online. I don't have money for online. fiscal. Tell you. Please, please, I need support for my for this my food sharing. Please, please. Tell, us, tell us about it. We have about almost three hundred people. Please tell your talk. Please, I need support. You don't even need to give money because some people say they don't trust Nigerians. If you have bag of rice, one mm. doctor gave us bag of rice some weeks ago, and we are still using it. If you have bag of rice, if you have bag of beans, if you have palm oil, salt, onions, dry pepper, ginger, anything you have. Mm. Okay. But if you want support with money, if you DM me or you DM Morayo, we can yeah. send you the account details. If you yeah. like, contribute 3,000. 3,000 is a lot of money. It will take care of a lot of families. Yeah. If you have, if you need to contribute more than that, 10,000, 5,000, 100, we are welcome. Yeah. Please, you people know that all oh, this fine house is not my house, so I rented it too. Yeah. Hey, hey. So yeah. please, support <laughs> me. I need to, you know, I don't have a fiscal restaurant yet. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for maybe when work resumes fully mm -hmm. and we start. Maybe I will save money. Or if I can get loan, you know where I can get loan. Let me go and rent it. Because all the money I'm making from my food, I'm putting mm -hmm. it into the street whatever. Yeah. And that. Right. So I really need savings yeah. now. God will raise up an army for you. Don't worry. We'll work on that. We'll see how we can raise an army to support you. Why are you now, DM me. You too, if you want to patronize, it says you dropped my account number. I saw Don't that worry. one. I'll I have drop. your account number already now. Don't worry. You know, we've, we've tried to support Somebody you. Somebody said I should drop it. Hey, drop it now, now, just in case. Hey, yeah, you help me pin it, too. Uh, let me pin it for you. Yeah, drop it and I'll pin it. Do you know that day you even said you wanted to support? I thought you were whining me. <laughs> when I, I saw the money, it. I was like, ah. I didn't know that Moriah is this rich. Oh. You can pin yeah. it. We got an idea, idea. We see. There's no reach anywhere. Please. Ah. I don't need pin now. Please, that's the account you? number. What's it? Okay, there it is. We have pin now. Pin on my daddy. Ah, pin me. Pin, pin. pin comments. Okay. Please, that's the so, account number. That's the account number for those who want to support. Please. I really need you. You people know I'm not a billionaire. When I run out of food stop, I will stop. You know, we used to do it. We started... 30th of March, and we are still on. 30th every of March to 20... Yes, 30th of March to 21st of May. We did every single day. From 21st of May to June, mm. we took a rest. Then from June, we started every Sunday. Mm. Every Sunday. Do you understand? So, we are doing today. I'm telling you. I, 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 yes, you saw us when we we're doing, yeah, you know, today. Yes, yeah. I, because uh, apart from feeding the community... We take care of widows and widowers. Mm. You, you know? Yeah. And we now have some aged people that we are taking care of separately. They are mm. not much. They are not mm. much. They are not even up to five thereabouts that we try to take care of because they really don't have any help. But we have widows and widowers. We have the food. And then we do clothes. So please, your used clothes, used pots, plates, and all that. If oh, you wow. have... You can just drop them at send somebody to drop them for us or handle filling station. We'll pick them up. Where? We give out in Iwaya, Iwaya on Iwaya Road. Mm. Once yeah. we get there and say you're looking for princess, they will collect the items from you. We share cups, school bags, old shoes that you are not using. Anything you want to throw out, just give it to us. Mm. Do you understand? So we have that scheme too. We did it uh, last month at the bus stop while we we're sharing food, you know. Mm. Please, I really need support because I can't do this I'll alone. I'll send you some things this week. I have some things in the house. I'll send Please, you Please, pots that you're not using, cups, anything. Mm. Chairs, yeah. pillowcases, just pack everything. Then clothes, yeah. old okay. bicycles, teddy bears. We need, mm. you understand? I just want all of us, you know, in Waya, we are just here. Let us to groove you people. Let's mm. enjoy. Eh? <laughs> Don't worry. Let's now go. that I know, we'll, we'll, be, we'll, be putting, we'll be putting it out there often. Please. Please. So wait, if once anybody... you send it to me, on WhatsApp, so I can post it or something so I can support you. Okay, then if you have things you want to give us, but you know some of you stay in Lekki and all that, 
Just tell us. We'll send somebody to come and pick them. <laughs> okay. okay. You get. If you don't know if where you, you, don't know where you are. Is. <laughs> uh, some people don't know where you are. Eh, hey, please, Iwaya, it's one corner. When you are coming from Yaba or Jibo, okay. you turn okay. left. I think if you will know Unilag, all these men that don't know Iwaya, they will know Unilag. <laughs> He's not yeah. far from Unilag. Okay, so one of the one need station. Just DM me, but it's not far from Unila. If you put a wire on your Google Map, if you put Orlando filling station on the wire, it will bring you. Okay, fantastic. So we'll just drop off everything. So there. please, okay. right now, talk to your friends in the office. Old shoes, old caps, anything. Wristwatches, pots okay. we take. Okay, and we fantastic. are still expecting your, your no support. Way, I'll send you something. I'll send you something. Don't worry. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So nice to see you. All right, let me let you go there. Thank you very much. God bless you. All right. <laughs>